Look at Iron Man right here. <laughs> Swap it out for this one. Yeah, way better than the X. Oh my God, you can't do that in an X. Oh man, I want to do burnouts on this so bad. <laughs> so bad. If you were to get a Cybertruck, are you replacing it with your X or the TRX? I mean, that is, that's the $64,000 question. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So you guys love the interaction with Jared, who is the TRX owner in the previous video. Well, we actually tracked Jared down and he actually owns a Tesla Model X. So we're gonna have two reactions today as him as a Model X owner and as him reacting to the brand new red Cybertruck wrap. So let's get into the video and see what happens. Oh, shit. there it is. Look at this. Look at Iron Man right here. This is gorgeous. Yeah. That's a beautiful color. You pick this? Yeah, so I got we got lucky because uh, you probably saw the video. It's Genjutsu Red. When I saw the roll, it was definitely more chromish. Okay. Uh, now, but like it's more like darker red and everything. It looks like a Lego piece. Oh. Like in person in the red. Yeah. It, it, I didn't have that reaction when I first saw it in person. Pulling up, it looks like a real life Lego piece like coming in the driveway. I mean, this is incredible. I mean, I just feel like you need somebody with removable hair or like a removable head, like, you know, like just getting out of it. It's stunning in person. I mean, it looks great in videos, but like in person, it, people who don't know would not know that this is wrapped. Can I ask you how you picked your wrap shop? It was like a friend of a friend. I wanted to help them out. It's like a mom and pop shop. Okay. Instead of one of the bigger ones. All so right. that's kind of where I went uh, with Bespoke Design Lab. And then TinyBot actually sponsored the wrap. It's actually really dirty right now because have you heard of King of Hammer? No, I don't it's know. It's like an off road, basically, like think like Burning Man, but off roading. Okay. It's like in Johnson Valley, which is like near Victorville. Okay. That's where we went. So I was like off roading for like the past. Wow. Like, how, did it, how did it do? Pretty great. It was fine. It was super comfortable. I was definitely anxious in the beginning, but it took all the different hills and everything. Do you mind if I like look really closely? I just want to see, it, yeah. like, just because like now that I'm standing like close to it, like you can see they even wrapped like the like the real edges. Yeah, it was a very tricky wrap because the material is chromish. Okay. And so it doesn't stick as easily around the edges. All right. So they definitely tried their best versus like regular vinyl. It would have stuck. But either way, I think it still came out pretty pretty good, for sure. It's totally stunning. Like, I feel like we're in the future. This is ridiculous. What What's going on back here? So, you remember 2019? Yeah. Oh, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they, where they threw the ball at it. It's just a joke. A decal. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, first I was like, well, sh Cause, okay, because you showed me the Easter egg, but no, yeah. that was not set up like that. Exactly, yeah. That's it's just funny. a joke uh, for fun and How everything. How many people stopped and talked to you at the supercharger? At least three people took out their phones and took pictures. One person jumped out and was like, hey, like, what, how do you like it? Like, do you have to build in like an extra 30 minutes everywhere you go? Yeah. Have you ever had a vehicle before that has like this hard to get, this much in demand, this curious? Have you ever had this experience before? Uh, where people come up and they just want to like, like hound you for all this stuff? I think the Cybertruck is on a different level okay. than like exotics and everything like that. It's just polarizing and all that stuff where like, cause like I've had GTRs before. It's not the same of course, Yeah. but GTRs, I used to call it a dick magnet because literally it's just fanboys like GTR, <laughs> GTR, GTR. Like right. girls did not care about it at all. Right. Whereas this, it's like all ages, all demographics. Everybody is like, what is that? Like, oh my gosh, Cybertruck. <laughs> Swap it out for this one. Oh man. Yeah, so like even like this, just everywhere you go, it's just like constantly like this. So the fun part of this is that Jarrett is actually a Model X owner. Jarrett, what Model X do you own? So I have, they now call it the Legacy because it's now the old one, but it's a 2020. Okay. So I got mine, I put the order in right after they announced the refresh, but then of course, you know, that got delayed for like more than a year. So I got mine in uh, during COVID, September of 2020. And I didn't care, I wasn't gonna wait for the refresh. I was like, I'm just happy to get to get one. And there's a lot of reasons now that I love my X because I don't have the in-cabin camera. Okay. I have the USS, I have the sensors. Yep. Summon works, auto park works. And I don't care, you can see the little chrome things. I got the old bumper, but I don't care. I don't have the in-cabin camera. So right. I don't think I would even want the refresh now. Exactly, so, yeah. especially because like the Cybertruck, as I think we talked about last time, does not have parking sensors. Right, yeah. so I mean, they're, they're, I hope they can rely on the camera I think time will tell if they can actually make that work to rely on the cameras for everything. I hope they do. I want them to succeed, right? But imagine like if this thing had smart summon, it's not driving and it's just driving at you. Wouldn't you be f terrified? Yes. Yeah. Like if this thing is just coming at you in, what color red is this? Uh, Jinjitsu red. Jinjitsu red. If this <laughs> is coming at you with no driver, like wouldn't you be scared out of your f mind? Yeah. Like I would be. I'm like, what the f 
<laughs> so let's take a look at your Model X, All right. have you jump in it, and then kind of get your reaction after jumping into your Model X briefly, Okay. and then jumping into the Cybertruck. Okay. So I know that the Cybertruck will fit in here. If I can get this in here, we can get the Cybertruck in here, like no problem. Definitely. So, I mean, it's, it's real tight, like, as you can imagine, but you know, it works. I have maybe an inch of clearance on the top with okay. the truck. That won't yeah. be an issue, obviously, with this. It's funny, when I had the Raptor before this, it's easier to get the TRX in here than the Raptor. The Raptor was like square, so like you really had to get it like in exactly to the right place. This is not so bad. I don't think they could be any more opposite vehicles if you absolutely tried. Right. You know, I'm in a lot of like TRX groups on Facebook, and it's a lot of like toxic masculinity. Sorry to get a little woke there, but like, <laughs> it's like, it's all these guys, oh, you're driving your little wimpy ass electric car. And it's like, come on, dude. So like, it's not that bad. Okay, perfect. It's a lot of that. So I had to like unfollow, cause I'm like, I just, I can't, can't get this in my feet every day. So since you've owned the Model X since 2020, has there been any issues, maintenance, problems, warranty work? I have probably had more issues with this car than anything else but that does not stop me from loving it. Okay. The half shafts have been replaced. It eats tires like nobody's business. The Pirelli Scorpions in the back got replaced to 25,000 miles because the cords were showing. I'm like, after 25,000 miles, like that's ridiculous. Other than that, minor stuff. Glove box had to be replaced. We lost a key. That had to be swapped out. Mostly that was it. A lot of like little stuff, nothing major, right? Like I've never had anything that makes me go, oh, I hate this car. It's been a reliable vehicle and the mobile repair service that comes to me makes it a lot easier. Have you had any issues with the Falcon wing doors? Outside of having to recalibrate them, a lot of people have the issue where the rubber seal on the top yep. will break or melt or has to be replaced. I think that happens if you park in, in the sun a lot. I didn't live here when we when I bought it, but it's always been garage. So I, it's maybe spent maybe a dozen nights outside. You take care of it, it'll take care of you. You, you know, you lubricate the seals and then that extends their life. Ah. But I've never broken the glass. I mean, I've seen some horror stories, but I've not really had any real problems with it. Yeah, because we actually have a 2022 Model X as well, and yeah. the Falcon Wing doors, it's been in the shop for a month because it just doesn't open 50% of the time. Are it you always serious? thinks something is in the way. And so I have to bring it back because they did a bunch of things to fix it. So they can put sensors in Refresh X for the doors, but they still can't put the USS sensors in the, in the X car. so that you can yeah. actually like use them. So that seems a little counterintuitive to me. Right. Um, but that sucks, man. I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. No, it happens. It's a Tesla at the end of the day. At this point, it is borderline embarrassing to have a vertical screen. I don't care. I just don't care. The fact that I don't have a cabin camera watching my eyes, so God forbid I want to pick up the phone and go, oh, let me just look at something. It goes beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's got smart summon. It's got regular summon. It has auto park. All of these things I wouldn't trade the refresh for. I actually had a deposit on a refresh that I bailed on because I was like, you know what? I just, I don't want it. Thank God I did because then they dropped the price $40,000. Definitely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? People get in, they go, oh, it's old. You know what? I don't I don't care. It's like old trusty. Why change a good thing? Right. I love this. It is, it's almost out of warranty. You know what? I'll buy the extended warranty for two more years and that'll be just fine. Yeah. How many miles is that right now? We are at 47,000. Oh, okay. Yeah. So really much. You're pretty much close yeah. at the moment. Yeah. So yeah. So we're close. Other than eating tires, it needs a new set of tires every year. Now we rotate the back tires. It's really in great shape. Yeah. Interior wise, no issues. Like everything's been held pretty tightly and no wear downs or anything like I that? Mean, I mean, I can get real nitpicky. So like the, the buttons that do like the volume and stuff, I have to click several times to get it to go one mark. Up, right, right. Oh, okay, okay. And I had them come over, I had mobile repair come over to come, come replace the buttons under warranty. Yeah. And the guy got here and he's like, no, they work. And I'm like, yeah, dude, but this is not how it's supposed to go. He's like, they're all like this. <laughs> He's like, so I really genuinely can't give you this for free. He's like, you can pay $300 for it. Uh, and I said, forget it. It's a minor thing. If that's my concern after three and a half years, I mean, come on, like let's, you know, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be okay with that. I love that it comes with the sunshade. The new ones don't oh, come with the sunshade. I didn't even know. Oh, I thought this was an aftermarket accessory. No, 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 no. This back, back in the day, back in the day for us old people, Dennis, <laughs> they actually used to give you a sunshade and they give you the mobile the mobile charger which yeah. is in the front. Yep. Now that is you know it's an additional thousand dollars you want to buy. You want to buy that, you want to buy this, you know, oh and I have this absolutely gorgeous plastic, you know, drawer. Oh. This is this is aftermarket. This okay, is, okay. You know, I was about to say yeah. Little like stuff like that because like you can't put anything in there otherwise it'll slide right out. It has held up very well. All the pieces like nothing's loose. I can say that nothing is loose, nothing is jiggly, nothing is janky. Everything is is good. 
You yeah. Know, there's no there's no real issues with it. So let's jump into the Cybertruck again and get your reaction. Oh man, you really took this off-road. Oh yeah, it was, <laughs> we really put it to the test and everything. Yeah. All right, so jumping in again, I know it's been a bit, first thoughts. It's the future, man. Like this is, this is the first step in what we're gonna see in the next 15 plus years of car development. You're gonna see more things that are outrageous because I think Tesla's gonna be able to pull this off. And I think that other EV makers are gonna wanna do the same thing. You're noticing that they're all kind of copying each other. All the, the, the legacy automakers that are making EVs, everybody's got that line in the front that lights up, everybody yeah. in the back, they've got a line that lights up, and they're all trying to find a through line to make it all work. I think that we're gonna see, not a copycat of this, because you can't copy this, right? No, yeah. But like, you're gonna see more outrageous designs. And I think you're gonna see more ideas or of companies saying, hey, drop a hundred bucks on a deposit, yep. and in four years, we'll deliver you something badass. Yep. In, in effect, you know, you're giving this company a zero interest loan that they can then go and earn, earn money on. I think that that strategy is gonna be copied, and I think that we're gonna see more vehicles that people go, what the hell is that? Polarizing and out there with design and all the different things. Right, yeah. so I'm sure you're putting this through the ringer, but it still looks great. Yeah. I mean, look at this. I mean, the headliner is still really fresh. I mean, it's still a new car, right? What are some things that are on your Model X that you kind of wish that were on a Cybertruck? Going doors. Going to the, the Falcon Sorry, Wing the Falcon, doors? Falcon Wing doors. Oh, okay. Uh, that would really bring this to like next level. You have a pickup truck with doors that go like this, like come on. It would be nice, of course, if this had summon, smart summon. If it, it, you know, it like, right, have it like auto park and stuff, you know. In time, you know, they'll work it out with Tesla Vision, I'm sure, and they'll get it right. All right. Sorry to interrupt, Steven, you wanna hop in? Okay, we're going for a trip. Admiring your truck. Oh, <laughs> it's all his. You can see it here at uh, on YouTube at Dennis C.W. Yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I have a Model 3, but it's, you know. <laughs> it's very different. <laughs> very different. Hard to compare. I have the X is mine, and it's like it's not even remotely like the same thing. Yeah. Oh, well. Hey, looks beautiful. Oh, gosh. Well, it's all him. So, have a great Thank day. You. I mean, this is like everybody stares at you when you drive this thing. Everywhere. I mean, especially now that it's red, like you, I mean, you couldn't miss it to begin with, <laughs> yeah. but now, like, you're just driving down the, like, just driving down the road, like, everybody's like, what the hell is that? I just want to do a tight circle in this. Sure. This is a real tight circle. This is a really tight little circle. Yeah, way better than the X. Oh my God, you can't do that in an X. Yeah. Ooh, feel that uphill power. There we go. It, okay, so the difference between the X and this, the steering on this is much tighter. I mean, obviously be expected to steer by wire, right? right. So you're gonna pick up like, the, like every little degree on this is some serious input. So if we just did a lock to lock. Yeah, you can't do this in any other vehicle that I'm aware of. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're gonna hit no, this. No, we're gonna, make it. we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Oh man, I want to do burnouts in this so bad, <laughs> so bad. And that's so crazy, just with the steering wheel, like, you know, you fully, if you're not thinking about it, you fully expect the wheel to go all the way back, right? Yep. But you don't realize, oh, wait a minute, it only turns like three quarters of the whole way around. And it's just a way less effort when you're driving around as well, wherever you go. It is, it yeah. is absolutely less. I mean, thank God for power steering, but <laughs> yeah. you know. How much harder do you think it feels like? Less than a foot, but it's noticeably taller. Can we, I just want to see, like, let's just, Let's see what high is like on this, and then maybe high on the X. Yep. Okay. All right, so there's very high compared to very high. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it's just high on that. Look how you can really see it sitting on top, of the, on top of the tires. High is only 14 inches. It can go up to 17 inches in extract mode. What? That's wild. But you can only use that off, like off, off road, road, right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. right, that's very cool. Any other thoughts on the drive between the two vehicles? Like, is the X more usable on daily driving? The X is what you would expect out of a, out of a daily driver vehicle, right? The Cybertruck, driving around, it feels like you're driving the X. Like, yeah. well, I mean, not in like turning, but like, it does not feel like you're lugging around a heavy truck. You drive this and you know you're driving a truck, right? right? Like you just, there's absolutely no mistaking you're driving the truckiest truck that ever trucked. You're just driving a nice electric car that just happens to have a large bed in the back. And exactly. you can put, you know, small children, building materials, whatever you feel you may need to lug around without sitting on a truck frame. And I don't know, but I don't think it sits on a truck frame or a truck chassis. I mean, they must have to account for the weight. So in some way, I'm sure that it does. It just does not feel like that. 
after sitting in your truck and then I met up with someone who has a Raptor and then a F-150 Lightning, like of course Ram and Ford, they know their truck buyers yeah. and like that's like a true truck. Whereas like this, let me know your thoughts on this. I kind of classify the Cybertruck as like a coupe truck where it's like more of like a sport truck type, not like an actual like big beefy truck because of how it drives and the blind spots and all the different I things. I would go trademark that right away <laughs> because this way we, we talk about this is gonna set off a future of designs like this. Somebody's gonna come up with coupe truck. Yeah. So go put your name on at the USPTO <laughs> yeah. and go and go trademark that because somebody's gonna wanna use it and they're gonna wanna buy it off you. All right, so Jared, after driving the Model X and then the Cybertruck right after, any final thoughts as being a Model X owner? Now that this is my second time driving the Cybertruck, I think I would be more open to actually buying one myself. I, I don't think I could ever get used to the fact that everybody wants to stop and talk to you, but I think now it's a very usable daily driver vehicle that can do anything the X can do. And it's really not too big to bring around. I think it's a very feasible vehicle for someone to consider for as a daily driver. Here's another question. If you were to get a Cybertruck, are you replacing it with your X or the TRX? I mean, that is, that's the $64,000 question. Um, or $100,000 at this or point. Or <laughs> $100,000 question, right? Oh my God. I think that probably it would replace the X because realistically, you know, once this gets to five years old, and the, and the value drops to probably $5,000. <laughs> yeah. Like, realistically, am I gonna really wanna keep it? No, they are not going to keep making these V8 TRXs for too much longer. In yeah. fact, I, I, I don't, I think 24 is the last year. I'm gonna drive that until I get absolutely tired of it because that's gonna become, I don't know about a, a collector's edition, but it's gonna become in demand. The X, there's enough of these. It's not, an old X is not gonna be an in-band vehicle, so it'll be time to get, it'll be time to part ways. Thank it for its service and have a, you know, give it a Something nice, new. right, a nice funeral or a nice farewell to some other country. Yeah, so. perfect. Well, thanks so much, Jared. Hey, thank you, my friend.